Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Avant Quads Chiro 4LR, the latest member of the micro long range 4 inch family. While the Chiro has many things in common with the other members of the family, this drone is a little bit different and today in this video I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up, give you my feedback after testing it out and show you some flight footage. First of all, in terms of specs, the Chiro features the Brother Hobby VY1504.5 2650 kV motors. It is bundled with the Gemfen 4024 bi-bladed propellers. The HD version, which is the one I've got, features the Calix Vista digital system, and the analog version is using the Runcam Nano 2 FB camera and the Rush Tank Mini video transmitter. The DJI camera is mounted using high quality 3D printed parts which will provide some protection to the camera lens and will enable you to mount an immortal T antenna. The Cadex Vista digital transmission unit is mounted to the bottom plate using 20x20mm mounting holes and the 10cm long version of the Rush FPB Cherry antenna is mounted on the back of the frame. On the center of the frame you can find the JHEMCU GHF420 all-in-one flight controller it came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.2.3, features a BLLES 20 ampere 4 in 1 ESC and 4 full Lyot ports. My version came bundled with the Crossfire Nano SE receiver, which is mounted on top of the all-in-one flight controller using this X-shaped 3D printed part. On the front of the frame, you can find a pretty loud self-powered buzzer, which will hopefully enable you to recover your drone in case of a crash. And on the back of the frame, mounted inside this 3D printed part, you can find a GPS unit. As for the frame, its wheelbase is 180 mm. It features a squash takes pattern. The thickness of the bottom, middle and top plates is 1.5 mm. The thickness of each replaceable carbon fiber arm is 3.5 mm and its width is 6.5 mm. In addition, the weight of the Chiro 4LR without a battery is 174.1 grams. Including a GNB 650mAh 4S LiPo battery, it weighs 248.8 grams. And including a GNB 1100mAh 4S LHV battery, the total weight is about 265 grams. As for setting up the Chiro, in case you have one of the Biden Fly versions, simply bind the radio receiver with your radio controller. Connect the flight controller to your computer and open up with the flight. Here you can see how the port section is configured. The GPS unit is connected to your 2 and as you can see it is being powered also when powering the drone only via USB which is great for getting an initial GPS lock. The Vista unit is connected to your 3 and the radio receiver is connected to your 6. Under the configuration tab the EC slash motor protocol is set to DSHOT 600. The motor idle throttle value is set to 5.8%. The motor direction is reversed, so pay attention to it when installing the propellers. By default, the maximum arm angle is set to 25, and I recommend to set it to 180, so you'll be able to arm your drone regardless of its angle. The PID loop frequency is set to 8 kHz. The GPS is enabled, and its protocol is set to U-blocks. The telemetry output is enabled, and the radio receiver is going to be pre-configured for you, in case you have one of the Biden Fly versions. Under the Felsef tab, the GPS rescue option is going to be pre-selected for you and I recommend to check out my video of the GPS rescue feature on Betaflight in case you are not familiar with it. And one more thing, this drone is pre-tuned for you and I can already tell you that this tune works great. Maybe the rates are a little bit too high, at least for me, but of course this is a matter of personal preference and if you'd like, you can simply adjust them. Now after this quick introduction, let's briefly discuss probably the most important topic, what sets this drone apart from all the other ones in the micro long range category, and why I think that this is probably the best option out of the ones that I've tested. First of all, the Chiro is using 1504.5 2650kV motors, whereas all the other drones are using 1404 motors, and I think that these motors were great and provide a good balance of power and efficiency. In terms of efficiency, I think that the best option in this category is the Flyway Explorer, which was the first one that was released to the market, and I think that that's a great opportunity to tell kudos to Dave C for researching this topic and for inventing this category. As for power and performance, I think that the iFlight Chimera 4 is the most powerful drone in this category, especially if you're going to go for the 3800kV version. 
So the Chiro is not the most powerful nor the most efficient drone out of these five options. However, it is going to provide you a good balance of these two aspects, which is very important. Another important aspect, which is especially important for long range flying, is the GPS. The GPS unit of the Chiro 4LR works great, and that's because it is connected to its own dedicated UART port on the flight controller, the antenna of the GPS is not blocked, and its wires are shielded. It took about 6 minutes to get the first GPS lock, and after that, less than a minute. As for the self-powered buzzer, which is an important accessory for these types of drones to serve their purpose, the buzzer is pretty loud and the LED unit is bright, however I recommend to move it to the top plate, as otherwise accessing the deactivation button is a little bit difficult, and keep in mind that you will need to press it each time that you unplug a battery. In addition, although I still haven't performed a long range test, as far as I can tell the Rush FPV Cherry antenna works very well. One last thing regarding long range flights, in my opinion it is better to mount the radio antenna on the front of the drone and not on the back, because it is going to give you a better indication of the radio interference in your flight path, because first you are going to fly away from you, and then you are going to experience more radio interference in comparison to mounting the antenna on the back, but the opposite thing will happen when heading back. Finally, in terms of durability, as far as I can tell, the Chiro 4LR features a very robust frame, and the carbon fiber parts are not going to break easily in case of a crash. The parts that are more prone to be damaged are the arms, so I recommend that in case you're going to get it, get an extra arm or two. In terms of flight time, which of course depends on how you fly, you can expect between 5 to 7 minutes using a 650mAh forest battery, which will enable you to keep the weight of the Chiro 4LR under 250 grams, between 6 to 10 minutes using an 1100mAh forest LHV battery, and by the way, I also tested this battery with an onboard naked GoPro camera, and I got about 6 minutes of flight time. In order to achieve an extra long flight time, you should use a forest lithium-ion battery pack, which provide a better ratio of power to weight than LiPo batteries, and are a great option to these types of drones, since the current draw of the motors is very low. I still haven't tested the Chiro 4LR with this battery, and I plan to feature this test on a separate video. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, and by the way, in case you decide to get this drone and you would like to save 5%, you can use the coupon code which is included in the description box and is valid until the end of this month. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.